All right, it's a continuation of the last video when we bolted down the, the air tube to the rest of the assembly. Now we're going to uh, put the gauge assembly in. Gauge assembly, make sure you got a nice o-ring, not damage. And this, uh, your bleed valve, check valve right here. Usually, let me check real quick. There you go. So like this was like two turns for flush. So safe to be at like two turns before it bottoms up. It's a nice fill rate. Alright. Alright, we put it on. Now we need to pressurize this air tube before you assemble everything else because uh, you want to make sure this tube is not leaking. All right, it's hand tight, bottom hand tight. You got your gauge hand tight till your six o'clock pouring at six. So it would be like that. Now we're going to fill it. Make sure the gauge is six o'clock and the commence filling. All right, well, fill it up. Usually I fill this up a little bit above 100 bars. Check for leaks. If no leaks, no, well, listen for leaks. You know, you, you think you feel there's no leak. I would assemble the rest of the breech assembly. It's kind, of, it's kind of a bitch to find out there's a leak after you assemble everything else and uh, it's a long process to find a leak. Alright, hose bled off. There you go. Actually, you could do it the other way around before I screw this on with this uh, barrel assembly. You could uh, leak test it then. You could dunk it in water if you want. All right. Sorry, it's hard to uh, get this doggone thing on the center of the video. And that's good. There's no leak. Next video to reassemble the rest.